1.19.1. I've heard a lot of bad things regarding this version of the game. Specifically, Multiplier. And I can agree with everyone else. What the frick? Oh, well, I guess we should probably just stay up to date with the games. Why not just do it? Despite all the bad things it brings. But you know what? It's better to stay updated with the latest version than see all my worlds get corrupted by using an older version. And maybe for all we know, maybe there's a probably a 0% chance that this could potentially fix the problem with my skin just randomly being gone. I highly doubt it, but you never know, man. Also, yes, you can obviously tell this is Legos Island Summer 2022. And I'll see you when we're in Legos Island. Dang it! I'm still like this. Oh, man. That's annoying. Um, anyway, today is Thursday, July 28th, 2022. So this will be the last episode for July, as the next one will take place four days later on Monday, August 1st. This is tradition every year, at least since 2020. Because in 2018 and 2019, I did them the day after on the 29th, because I skipped the 25th in those two years. Uh, but starting in 2020, if you guys don't know, I started doing them on July 25th, like they were supposed to. And then I started doing it on July 28th, starting that same year too, and it's been tradition ever since. Alright, so also, today we are going to be leaving the campsite after two episodes. This is the second one. Alright guys, let's make our way to July 26th, which we are already right in front of. Oh, actually, before we do, let's take off this hat, as uh, it's not my anniversary day on YouTube anymore. But yeah, that item will stay up there until the event's over. Much like how the 500 subscribers hat stayed in the item booth from when it was released, all the way until the event ended. Which was June 4th, if that it was released, and September 1st, that it was removed permanently. Uh, hold on, what did we get? Let's take Oh, the Slug Shrekker. Dang, these things are cool. Let's place that right here. Yep. As usual, these things are cool. Hey, we're really making sense of using these for Halloween. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, dogs, I forgot to go uh, switch them out with other ones. Let's go see who we get. But first, let's go clear my inventory. And this is the perfect time to do that, seeing as we're about to go back to the balcony. And actually, we do need to clear my inventory anyway to go see which two pieces of paper we get. Oh, perfect timing. We get another chest. Nice. Let's put the other three items in here. There we go. Let's put that away. And now let's make our way down to that balcony. Of course, I just put the two dogs we just had back in the pet cemetery and dog park, respectively, being Justin in the pet cemetery and Holiday in the dog park. Let's see who we get today. Cake and Lapis. Nice. I don't think we've had those guys in a while. So it's good to see them again. All right. Let me go get them. All right. We're back at the campsite for the last time. And, uh... Oh, there's July 27th. Oh, whoa, 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 Hold up. I have to put fire resistance on these guys. I don't want to risk them dying. Also, I did have to respawn Kid because she wasn't alive, but Lapis mainly was. Yeah, I had to do that real quick because we're about to enter lobby. July 27th. Let's see what we get. The Slug Sensor. And that will go... Uh, yeah, I guess right there works. I mean, why not? Alright! Now, before we can leave... Well... I think you can guess. A boss battle. And of course, this is based off the deep dark. How could it not be stupidly obvious what the boss is gonna be? Hail! The Warden! This guy... Is... Freaking powerful! It makes sense though. Obviously, we should do this 
in a probably far away place. Now, what I need to do is set my spawn point here for the fact of how many times that I die. And yes, I already saw he did kill both of the dogs. But that's fine. I will respawn them after. Let me set my spawn point real quick. So we can spawn here every time we die. That being said, let's get into game of survival. And I have found the wither. Uh, no, uh, the warden. Um, not in the actual place that you can find him. Just somewhere else. Also, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, that's spectator, that is spectator. That's better. Oh yeah, see, hold it, this guy is freaking powerful. Actually, yeah, this is how insane. Actually, I probably should have set my spawn point totally over here. There we go. So every time I die, I'll just spawn here. See? Oh! Oh! We shall not mess around with this guy. Oh, come on! We gotta get him. Get him! Oh! I already have gotten the achievement by killing a mob near all this stuff, so yeah. Uh, that was by accident. I was gonna try and get that in this video. Uh, achievement where you kill a mob near, uh, you know, uh, these blocks. I was trying to have that happen in this video. Unfortunately, I got it here by accident while testing out the warden off camera a few weeks back. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, 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 I did lose. Um, I did lose the fire resistance, but I will do that now. Uh oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Where did he go? Where the heck? Oh, frick. Frick, frick. Run, 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 run! This guy is freaking powerful. Oh, no, 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 I'm not doing this. Do it. This is honestly the perfect boss for this area, I'll tell you that. Huh? Is he still around? Yeah, he's still around because it just went all dark in here. Oh, frick! This is seriously the perfect boss for this, I'll tell you that. Trying to get him from a far angle so we don't die either. I am glad I set my spawn point here, because I would have had to travel really dang far. What? Where did he go? This guy. I heard he has a lot of HP. I know, I know. I should not be going near him as much. Uh-oh, I'm stuck! I was stuck! Oh, no, 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 I want to respawn. I don't know why. I got good from that. Where is he? Where is that guy? Oh, no, 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 no! Obviously, I would normally have fire resistance on to prevent that. The problem is, I actually have to pull 
that back on. But after this battle. Yes! Let's go! Now again, if I did not get that achievement previously, I would have uh gotten the achievement saying that I killed a mob near all this, you know. Select just select. The problem is I already did that by accident off camera. But hey! We defeated the warden. You know what? Basically any damage that was caused here, I guess we'll leave it. So there we go. We have officially completed the campsite. But of course, to prove that we actually did complete... Now hold on. You probably can tell that these are obviously the Operation Dolls out of 2022 banners. I still have the original, but I renamed them at least for this area to the Deep Dark Banner, as this was taken over by Master Yonkers. But you know what actually makes more sense? Yeah, that makes a whole lot more sense. It looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, but no, the point is, I still have the original banner. Now, technically, this already did look like a banner that would suit this area. So that's the only one to be reused. Of course, since we already collected it in this event over a month back on June 9th, um, yeah, we can't get it here because we already collected it. Anyway, now that we are done with the campsite after two episodes, let me just show you around real quick because we're not actually done. We still have to go to the wilderness to collect our final item of the day. Insane to believe that, wow, the campsite's already done. I know, it was that quick. But yeah, what are your thoughts on the campsite, everybody? Looks pretty nice, right? Yeah, I know. It's great to believe how freaking good this looks. And yeah, I guess we'll be back here on the finale. First. Um, to go get another item related to this again. But for now, we're gonna make our way to the wilderness and. We're gonna go see what the heck happened. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think we all know already what happened. It's too obvious. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna be here once again for the next two episodes with the August 4th episode concluding our time here in the wilderness. Which there will only be one item showcase on August 4th here. Here we are, the wilderness. Oh my god. This is gonna be great. This is probably the most stupidly genius thing Evil Cook has done. Speaking of which, where the heck is he? Shouldn't he be here already? Oh, there he is. Hello, Lego. Welcome to my version of your wilderness. As you can see, it's completely on fire, which is, was my goal here. Like it? Because by the end of Legos Out in Summer 2022, the entire wilderness will be completely burned down. Wah! Oh! You! You went with the most genius idea possible. People cluck. I am impressed! Let's see how bad it really is. Dude, impressive man! This is the most genius idea I think I've seen you do yet. Like I just said, Evil Clark, while you think that you plan to burn the entire wilderness down, which obviously will stop, I'm gonna say, I am seriously impressed. This is probably the most genius thing that Evil Clock has ever done to this wilderness. I mean, seriously, this is probably the most smart move he did. Did you know, trees burn on fire. 
a lot. Or at least I think. Actually, I should know. I've been around for like 20 years. Of course, I know that. There are a lot of times that forests burn down. Which is unfortunate. So this is probably the most creative move. So, evil cluck. Get out of here! Oh, forgot to mention, you have to go through the entire wilderness without touching the fire. Wah! What? How is that possible? Seriously, there's fire everywhere. How is that possible? I guess if we ever touch the fire, we get sent all the way back to the start of the wilderness. I guess that's the little challenge here. Impress? I'm impressed. Oh, actually, wait. Speaking of fire, let's put back on that fire resistance potion and get that potion back. That splash potion. And also get the dogs back. I'll put fire resistance on them too. And then we can finally get to our final item. All right, we are finally back. Uh, actually, let me get rid of that secondary one. We don't need it. All right, guys, finally, but not least, July 28th, where we start off our journey in the wilderness. The Blaze Powder, and that is probably the perfect item to start off our journey. So guys, that is it for the episode. But first, before we do that, we do have some summer banners around here, of course. And actually, you know what? Let's place one down where Evil Cluck used to be, to kind of remember that he was here. There we go. That's a nice way to remember that he was here. Like just now. Alright. But yeah, that is it for the episode. Next time on Monday, August 1st. And dang it, we already did it! Oh, thank God I already put fire resistance on these guys. And yes, I do have the potion back. So yeah, we're all good! Woo! Well, of course, it's not going to do anything since it's not affecting anyone. The problem is... Yeah, we have to do this without touching fire. That's honestly a really nice challenge. Because it gives us a challenge here in the wilderness. I mean, we just took on the warden earlier in the video. And that was a good challenge. I wonder what the boss is going to be here. Dang it! Who cares, we're already back at the start, so it won't even matter. But yeah, let's see. How long can we go without touching the fire? We have to proceed pretty dang slowly. This is more... Dang it. Okay, let's try again. Dang it! Oh, Major once we're over there. I'm serious. Navigating this entire wilderness without touching fire. It's gonna be freaking difficult. Oh, I almost thought I touched it! Oh, we're proceeding. Okay, actually, it won't even matter. We can just fly over here. What am I doing? So, yeah, July 29th is right here. And then July 30th is uh, over here. Let us let me show you real quick. Yep, 15 years of New York trips. That's going to be really cool. I can't believe it's going to be 15 years on Saturday. And yet, uh, no New York trip yet. Oh! This day a year ago I was in New York because it was the grand return after two years. That's right. This was the day. That's right. I remembered it as soon as I woke up. Remembering that I'm still in this room um, for like all of July. And then July 31st is right here, speaking of that. And then August 1st is, uh, hopefully without touching on the fire, is right here. August 1st. And, and also to show you where August 2nd is, because, um, why not? I mean, if I'm showing you all the item booths here, I may as well go with August 2nd. Which, August 2nd is right here. And that is the last item booth in the wilderness. Then after that, on August 4th, we make our way to the tallest mountain and discover what the absolute heck is up there. Because, seriously, what the frick is up there? Until then, we must stay here. Well, at least until late night countdowns, you know, because we just go away from where we are here. And then, um, 
We know we come back here just in time for August 1st. We know we do something around the island and like that countdowns every time. Anyway, that's it. Did Matt think the video was gonna be this long?